fix all of that. It's a hot summer day at the historic Joel Hill Sawmill, and these volunteers with the Equinunk Historical Society near Honesdale are stepping back in time before electricity ran this type of machinery. As I say, you got to watch your head. Volunteer Harold Butler takes visitors on a tour of the mill's inner workings. A lot of people, they try to move it with their head. Built sometime in the mid-1800s, this sawmill has always been run by one thing, water. A team of volunteers keep this sawmill in working order all year long. And for three weekends a year, July, August, and October, give tours and demonstrations of the turbine belt system and sharp blade that still work to this day. When we open the gates up and the floor starts to shake, it becomes evident that the water's running the sawmill and people really enjoy seeing that. Even now, everything is done by hand. And of course, the power of moving water. That blade is uh, 52 inches in diameter, uh, rotating at approximately 750 RPM. So it really moves. I forget what that equates to exactly, but it's well over 100 miles an hour per tooth. The ingenuity was fantastic. The technology wasn't as uh, fantastic. Nothing like we have today. Right. No electronics here. This piece of history was an active sawmill until the 1970s, and now is preserved and still able to cut and produce boards thanks to the folks who spend countless hours keeping history alive. It's uh, something that really takes a lot of maintenance, you know, but it's a labor of love. And if something like this ever disappears, it, it will never be back. You want to you treasure this. There's just not many of these left, and uh, they're not going to be replaced. To find out more about upcoming tours, head to equinunkhistory.org and make a point to visit this historic gem right here in the Pocono Mountains. Jim Hamill for the Pocono Television Network.